Uh, I'm a PhD student uh, in the local team, and uh, I'm going to introduce uh, some packages that we developed uh, last two years. Um, first, block decomposition.gl that provides features to uh, take advantage of the shape of block structured problems. Then the pricing callbacks to uh, use efficient algorithm uh, to solve the, the pricing subproblem. SCSP.gl, a pricing callback generator, and uh, I will finish with uh, solvers that support um, a block decomposition. So in following slides, uh, BD will be for block decomposition, RM for the modeling part of SCSP, and uh, RS for the solver part of SCSP. So let's start with uh, block decomposition. Um, several uh, complex combinatorial problems uh, as a block have a block structure, uh, have a block diagonal structure uh, like that. So the blocks represent sub problems, and um, the main block up there uh, uh, contains linking constraints. So the sub problems can be solved independently, and the linking constraints ensure that the combination of the solution of the sub problems um, is feasible. So for instance, in the generalized uh, assignment problem, uh, for uh, each machine, uh, we have a knapsack problem because we cannot exceed the capacity of the machine. And the uh, linking constraints ensure that all jobs are assigned to a machine. Another, another example for the vehicle routing problem, uh, for each vehicle, we compute a tour. And the linking constraint ensure that all customers are visited. Um, so we know how to decompose the problem. So we must give uh, the decomposition to the model. So for that, um, we can see that annotating the constraints is sufficient. So for instance, uh, the constraints here uh, will be in the block zero. So it's in the master. Um, so we are going to write uh, a function uh, that takes as argument the name of the constraints and the ID of the constraint and returns the annotation. So for instance, the constraint SC21, the name is SC, the ID, uh, the ID is the tuple 21, and it returns uh, the annotation, don't it go off the problem, and the, ID, and the ID too. So the constraints go in the second subproblem. And then we provide this annotation function to, uh, to the model with uh, the add density add the of the composition method. Um, sometimes um, the, um, the structure of the matrix is a little bit different. So instead of having uh, uh, linking constraints, we have linking variables. So in that case, we use the bundles decomposition. Um, so we, we see that um, annotating the variable is sufficient to uh, describe the decomposition. So in, this, in the same way uh, that the previous decomposition, uh, the user writes a function that takes as argument the name of the variable and its ID, and uh, we provide uh, this uh, annotation function with add bundles decomposition. So uh, let's illustrate that with an example. Uh, the generalized assignment problem. So this is the, um, the model um, in jump. Uh, we introduce the variable xmg uh, equals one if the job g is assigned to the machine m. Here we have covering constraints, so each job must be assigned to a machine. Here this is the knapsack constraints, we cannot exceed the capacity of each machine. And then we aim to minimize the total cost of uh, the assignment. So here you have the, um, the, the structure of the coefficient matrix, so it's a block diagonal matrix. Uh, if we remove the covering constraints, it remains uh, uh, independent uh, knapsack constraints, one knapsack constraints for each machine. So we are going to decompose over the machine. So the model becomes a block model. Uh, we keep the jump model and we add the annotation function. Um, constraints, uh, covering constraints uh, are assigned to the master and the knapsack constraints of the machine M uh, is assigned to the Danzig-Wolfson problem with IDM. So we have one 
uh, knapsack constraint for each machine, and then we assign uh, the, the annotation function. So we, we saw how to decompose the, the, the problem uh, and how to give the, um, the, the annotation function to the server. So um, now I'm introducing the pricing callbacks to use uh, efficient algorithm to solve the sub-problem. So in the pricing callbacks, uh, the following functions are available. Um, get your cost to retrieve the current cost of a variable. Get your UB and get your LB to um, retrieve the current upper bound and the current lower bound uh, of a variable. It can be useful in the branching tree. Uh, and set solution value to set the value of the variable in the pricing solution. So we go back to the generalized assignment problem. Uh, we Im imagine that uh, we have a function that solves efficiently the knapsack problem. So we can write um, a pricing callback to, to use this function. So the pricing callback takes one argument, CB, which is uh, an Oracle data. Uh, first, we retrieve the, the index of the machine to know which problem we are solving. Then we retrieve the current cost of variables. We solve the knapsack problem and we set the value of solutions in the pricing solution. So uh, we get the following model. Uh, so we keep the block model, we keep the jump model, we keep the annotation function, and we assign uh, the pricing callback to each problem. But since the pricing callback uh, is solving uh, a knapsack problem, uh, knapsack constraints are duplicated. They are implicit in the pricing callback and explicit in the jump model, so we can remove one of them. So if we remove uh, the constraints in the jump model, um, block decomposition cannot guess anymore the membership of the variables. So with this model and the decomposition uh, on constraints, all the variables are put in the master. So we must uh, define uh, an annotation function for variables. So here, uh, the variable xaim will go in the subproblem with ID M. And we have the same decomposition that before, but without the constraints of the subproblem. Okay. So um, one of the main advantage of uh, decomposing a, a problem is to be able to solve it in a more efficient way. So for many problems, uh, we noted that the subproblems are based on the resource constraint shortest path. So instead of the user having to write his own algorithm, we provide a pricing callback generator. So the user only needs to provide the structure of the network uh, of the subproblem, um, the um, link between variables and edges, the resource properties of the edges and uh, vertices, and um, which are either consumption and bounds. So this is an example of a feasible SCSP solution. So in red, this is the edge consumption. In green, this is the, um, the accumulated resource consumption uh, at a given uh, vertex. So for the, the vertex 2, this is the sum of edge consumption since the source. And uh, here, this is the bounds on accumulated consumption. So at each node, uh, the accumulated resource consumption is within the bound. So uh, this is a feasible SCSP solution. So I, I will introduce the, the package uh, through an example, the heterogeneous uh, vehicle um, routing problem with time windows. So we have a fleet of uh, heterogeneous vehicles. All vehicles are different. Um, and we introduce the variable xki ig equals one if the edge ig is used by the vehicle k. So we aim to minimize the total traveling cost. Each customer must be visited once. So the number of incident edges to the customer is equal to. And the variable xk uh, define a tour visiting a subset of customers uh, within, its time, uh, within the, their time windows. So we are going to generate the tools with a pricing callback. 
So this is the compact uh, formulation uh, with the decomposition function written with uh, jump. So we have the variable x k a, the constraint, the, cover, the partitioning constraints, uh, and uh, the objective function. So here, uh, since we didn't, uh, since we don't provide uh, the um, the constraints of the subproblem, uh, we must add a decomposition on variables. So it's uh, the same case that. Uh, the same case uh, that did not take, uh, just before. So here, uh, the variable xk will go in the subproblem of vehicle k. So we have one subproblem for each vehicle. So now let's generate uh, the tools. So for a given vehicle k, we can generate the tools by solving uh, a CSP. Uh, first, we split the depot into two nodes, the source S and the Sync t, so the path becomes a tour. Um, we assign the variable xkig to the age uh, ig. So, uh, for instance, if this um, if this edge is used in the pricing solution, uh, the variable uh, linked to this edge will be equal one. Here, the resource is time. Uh, the resource consumption on edges is the travel time, and um, the bounds on accumulated resource consumption at vertices are time windows. So, for instance, the third customer is visited at time 11, and it's within its time window. So this is a serial CSP. So first, we instantiate the network, uh, which, have, which has NB nodes. The first node is the source and the last the sink. The resource is time. Uh, we define the resource properties of vertices. So the, the, the bounds on the accumulated time consumption uh, is the time windows. And we instantiate the edges. So just give an example because it's in the, the same code. Um, when we add the, the edge C1, C2, uh, we attach to it the variable xk c1 c2 and then we define uh, uh, is uh, time consumption which is the travel time between c1 and c2 then we wrap all that definition uh, within a function um, so this function take one argument this is a callback data uh, first we get back uh, the, the the id of the vehicle to know which problem we are defining we instantiate the network, the resources. So, uh, all, so uh, everything. Um, so what you, what we seen before, and uh, at the end we return the, the network. Then we can generate the pricing callback for each subproblem, and we define the multiplicity on the subproblem. So the the multiplicity, uh, it's the number of times that the solution of the subproblem will appear. Uh, in the final solution of the main problem. So here we have one vehicle of each type. So uh, the vehicle can be used zero or once. If for a given type we have a fleet of uh, uh, U vehicles, the multiplicity will be zero, one, uh, two U. Uh, so now um, I will talk about uh, solvers that support block decomposition. So the first solver uh, is well known, it's CPLEX. Uh, CPLEX only supports uh, Bender's decomposition. Um, so first, you model uh, your problem with uh, jump and block decomposition. Uh, and then uh, you, you can decide uh, uh, only through uh, CPLEX parameters if you want to solve the compact formulation or the Bender's formulation. So you can easily compare uh, the performance between the two formulations just by changing the parameter. Uh, the second solver, so it's Babcode. Uh, Babcode is, um, branching, uh, is a branch and price and cut um, research prototype in C++ that the locate team, uh, that the locate team uh, the local team uh, has been developed for 15 years. Sorry? 
uh, uh, code. So uh, branch and price code. Code. Yeah. Code. 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 Sorry. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Um, so the, the user modeled the, um, the, the problem uh, with jam block decomposition and SCSP uh, as usual. Then Babcode um, will, will build um, the formulation with its uh, C++ modeling language, C, uh, BC model. Uh, and then we can use the branch and price and categorism so the SCSP, SCSP solver to, to solve uh, the, the problem. So the, the master and the sub-problems can be uh, uh, solved with uh, commercial uh, or open solvers uh, through MatProg interface. But unlike um, MatOpt interface, uh, MatProg interface only uh, uh, supports only uh, linear mixed integer programs. So this is, um, this is a code that uh, has become very complex over the years. Uh, Babcode has a lot of features and some of them are rarely used. Um, so we, um, we believe that the algorithms uh, implemented in Babcode uh, are um, uh, quite mature. So w w the team has been, uh, has be, has been able to, to solve some in open instances of vehicle routing problem, and the execution time uh, uh, order magnitude uh, is better than best known algorithm. So we are convinced that um, um, Babcode is, uh, is a useful framework and uh, we would like to bring it in the community. But uh, we, we still think that um, uh, supporting all that component, BC model, MatProg interface, it's, it's quite hard for us. So um, um, we believe that if we focus uh, only on the branch and price and culture algorithm and the CSP solver, uh, we'll have a chance to, uh, to, um, to, to to make a clean code. Um, so that's why we, start, we are starting a new project. So this is Coluna.gl. So here we use uh, the package provided by the Jump community uh, to model the problem, so Jump Motet interface, and to communicate with uh, uh, commercial servers and open servers. So this is a, a framework that will be uh, in Julia uh, instead of C++. Um, so we plan to make this project under an open source license, but we are still uh, negotiating with our institution. So for those who are interested in, uh, in this project, uh, we'll let you know. Uh. Thank you very much. Any questions? Uh.